Hi everyone and welcome to this week's quick fix. We're going to do a quick and easy ice cream cone. So uh, we're going to begin with a deep V which is going to be our cone and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to sort of draw a little bit higher up a, a rounded shape and then underneath a slightly larger rounded shape a little bit like we were doing a, a snowman and then on the top just to balance it out coming back in the opposite direction we're going to have a cherry so what we're going to do is we're going to do sort of sprinkles on the top one here so I'm just going to draw little sprinkly shapes and we're going to have a little drip or two coming down and there we go so I'm going to do let's do the cone first so we're going to take yellow ochre and with a size 2 brush just sweep it down one side clean off the brush and I'm going to just sort of take that colour across just using water, not using any more colour and we'll just leave it like that for the moment I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to create a sort of minty maybe a sort of pistachio-y colour with a bit of cobalt turquoise and hooker's green and I'm going to just sort of paint the outer edge of that ice cream there and the outer edge there and I'm going to sort of start almost like dabbing the brush in because ice cream does have that, that slight texture if it's been scooped and it doesn't matter if you go over the top of the, the sprinkles, that's fine. But we just want to keep that a really nice and dilute colour. Now we can just mix up a bit of Alizar and Crimson for our cherry, but we do need to wait for a few things to dry first. And then I think I'll do a chocolate ice cream on the lower levels. And so we'll get burnt sienna mixed up for that as well and a little bit of Payne's Grey just for a bit of bit of darkness, a bit of shadow. But the other thing we need to do is to create the, we're going to do a waffle cone here and as it's the quick fix and we're just doing simple, simple designs, I'm just going to mix up a bit of burnt sienna in with the yellow ochre, get rid of a crumble hair there. For those of you who don't know, crumble is my dog and uh, his hairs end up in my paint quite often. Okay so we've got our colours mixed and now we just need to wait for this all to dry. So I'm going to take my size zero brush and I'm going to from this side just paint as a sweeping slightly curved diagonal line. Then I'm going to continue that across the top and then I'm going to cross it over And then the important thing is to make sure that you get that textured edge. And then I'm just going to do a sweep of the brush down one side. And that's just a really nice simple way of doing the waffle texture on the cone. Now up on the cherry I've got Alizar and Crimson, really quite quite a wet Alizar and Crimson. Um, so if your cherry is sort of nestled in, remember to sort of cut off the bottom like that. 
get your outline shape in, clean off the brush, and then decide where your sort of shiny bit is going to be. Paint around that, and then I'm just going to fill in the rest from the bottom. And we'll just let that settle in and then we can do the chocolate ice cream so I'm gonna again do the outside edges first and get a bit of that texture going there and I'm just sort of doing the outline of the the drips as well because we can use some unpainted space to get a nice shine on the drip and now I'm going to mix in a bit of Payne's Grey to my chocolate and just get a bit more of that dark colour in there then clean my brush off and start to draw in The colour. Allowing to leave a little bit of unpainted space if I want, but we've got a lot there and then I could just leave a little bit of unpainted shine on the ice cream drips and then I think I'll just add a little bit more. Yeah, I think a lot of people forget about the texture of ice cream when they're painting it. And if we leave that not too dark, it means we can add some chocolate chips. I'm going to go down to a really small brush for my sprinkles and I'd like them to be nice bright colours so I'm going to wake up the permanent rose cadmium orange, hooker's green and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the sort of outline of the sprinkle we want to get a nice sort of lightness with these sprinkles. And now there's just a few things left to do so we'll get a little bit more Alizar and Crimson and just paint in a little cherry stem I also think it'll be nice to get a little bit more turquoisey green just on the ice cream there. And then some chocolate chips, just using the concentrated brown and Payne's grey mixture. Remember when you put your chips in, don't put them all completely evenly. Have some sort of slightly clustered together as well, just to make it a little bit more believable. And then you could, if you wanted, use that dark colour we've got here, just for an extra 
little bit of shadow underneath some of these lines it's funny Ant always says to me your quick fix isn't very quick I'm like yeah I just get really into it but I don't think you guys mind right there we go a nice <laughs> quickish, simple ice cream cone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.